Clark was, it was actually founded in 1921, so we're celebrating our 90th year this year. Um, it was originally set up as a boys club, and it was the largest boys club in Scotland at that time. Um, we've gone from having uh, a core of about maybe five activities, and we now have over 20 different sports and activities here, catering from everything from little children at like two years old, or slightly less than that actually now, right up to people in their 80s. And we have actually one lady, our oldest I think, who's 90, who comes to our senior citizens group. I think North Bergeson Club's quite unique because it, we won, for instance, we won the Edinburgh Sports Club of the Year Award last year. But we're not a sports club, but no, we're not just a sports club. We're now, I think we're part like a community centre now as well. So I think we're one of the rare places which, which actually tries to cover both. Um, and I think we do that rather successfully. Well, we've got a kind of traditional um, ones which were table tennis and football, and they're the biggest ones, and that's which most people in the city would know if you say North Berkey, they'll go, oh, football. Um, we also have sort of smaller groups doing sports like the badminton, um, we've got sort of yoga, pilates, um, dance, quite a, a range of dance from Zumba, Edinburgh Samba School are here. Um, so, and it's a mixture between sort of membership groups which are led all, totally by volunteers, um, but we're also home to another, a, a number of organisations as well. Here is 90 years old, and some parts of the building actually range from that time. The sports hall downstairs uh, was actually built, I believe, in the 1940s. So again, it's 70 years old, and you know that's a, a long time for a building. And just like a 70-year-old person, it starts to fall to bits. Well, sadly, a building does as well. Um, the downstairs sports hall is used by a, a number of the groups um, in the club here, but it's it's absolutely underutilised because, um, particularly with the winter months, it's it's unbearably cold. It's, it's actually freezing cold in there in the winter, and uh, and that that causes a lot of problems because it not only problems for the people who use it every day, um, but there are groups who could be using it, for example, who won't because it, it's it's so cold and they, they just do one winter down here they simply won't go back again and use it. It's a great space, it's an absolutely great space, um, suitable for really virtually any activity, uh, ball sports particularly, but because um, it needs heat and it needs you know, the new heat and it needs new lighting um, and until that's done it's really not going to get the full use of it. Certainly improving that hall would make a huge difference to the groups who use it to the club in general. Um, and the more people who are using it, the more income we bring in, and that helps everybody because then we can keep our costs down for everybody. So. In winter, when it's snowing, they're coming in, freezing cold. It's yeah. near get the cold, then the parents go right. That was from coming here. Mm -hmm. uh, so then, they, as I said, they stop. Uh, that's Right. Um, I'm the manager of Harrison Playgroup and the impact on us is if we can't use the main thing for any reason we can go downstairs. Yeah. Um, obviously with very young children it has to be cold enough, it has to be light enough um, for our regulation so it does impact a lot of us. I teach also contemporary dance and stretch and strengthen and both classes uh, make use of floor work or shoot but because it's so cold it's it makes it it makes it very hard and much longer for your muscles to warm up. The lack of the proper heating and lighting affects the energy and enthusiasm of the participants in the extremely cold weather particularly. They feel quite low mm -hmm. um, and that's one of the main reasons that we're trying to improve the facility that we've got down there. Well, as far as the heating is concerned, when you come here on a Monday morning at 10 o'clock in the middle of winter, it is cold, it's <laughs> mildly. And even though you're running around getting warm, you're sweaty, but your body is still cold. Very uncomfortable, and you just want to run home and get a shower. Well, the lighting, I think sometimes it depends which side of the net you're on. I think sometimes you might have an unfair advantage depending on how the lighting is. Well, as it stands just now, the light is very good. Heating uh, isn't great because we use this area sometimes for changing January, February, but it's cold. When we're training light tonight, the heat side isn't much, but the lighting is very, very big.
the writing, again, depending on where you are in the court and which move you're making, the writing getting your eyes, and for that split second, you can miss the shuttle. Quite embarrassing. Yeah. Oh, besides that, okay. uh, it kind of annoying it. We had a better uh, heating system, then we could concentrate on just doing dense exercises rather than having to warm up our bodies forever before we can start and doing anything. Well, I think it improved the individual's game and just the overall feeling of coming here, enjoying the three hours we're here together. Yeah. A big improvement. It improved the motivation of the people taking part. Playing in comfortable conditions makes people play comfortable and feel comfortable and are comfortable. And we're looking to do that as much as possible. Again, it would be absolutely brilliant. Uh, as in the winter months, because of the pure light, try not to use this place as much. So if we did get the improvement in the lighting, we could use this more often, which would save us going to other places to train in winter nights. Though you've got the astral turf, the Scottish weather doesn't mean to say that that'll go. If you've got this, it means we can always get a session. Yeah, well, I think it would encourage more people to play. Oh, it would be wonderful. Um, for the small children, if it's cold, if it's too cold, we just can't open, so it makes a huge difference for us and the families to use the turf. North Medicine Club, over the last year, for example, has, has had, we have 700 people who are here every single week. Um, if all of you would like to vote for us, um, that would be absolutely great. We also had at least over another thousand people who were in the club for one reason or another, um, and, and hopefully they will come back as well. If all of you could vote for us as well, that would be absolutely great. Um, if you could tell your friends, your family and everything else to vote for us, and um, the more people who do, um, the sooner we can get our club uh, upgraded and uh, all have a much better environment. Um, the website is www.communityforce.rbs.co.uk forward slash project forward slash 953.